This table at Patsy's Restaurant. Now, all week, we're going to do some recipes to help you with your Easter dinner. Today, the first recipe is going to be with pasta. So let's go in the back with Sal, and let's make this beautiful dish. Sal, so how you doing? How you doing, Sal? We're going to make. We're going to make some rigatoni sorrentino. Sal starts with the sauce. To a pot, he adds some olive oil, garlic, and onions. Let's simmer for a while. Now the tomatoes. Salt, pepper, parsley, and then some basil. Now he adds some red wine. Uh, what kind of wine you use? We've got some Merlot. A Merlot. My favorite. Okay. Now he adds the bay leaves. He lets it all simmer just for a little while. Now here's something I found very interesting when it comes to tomato paste. Now, you put the tomato paste in after the sauce already simmered. I put it in at the very end. This is new. Five minutes. This yeah. is new. I always put it in before. A lot of people do it. Now why you put it in at the end? Just this to get enough to thicken up the sauce and okay. a more tomato flavor. I'm going to try that. Now he puts in the paste. He goes to the rigatoni. He drains the pasta. And now he's ready to plate it. But first... Wait a minute. I'm not going to try the sauce. Oh, look at that piece of basil. Mmm. Oh. That's good. Simple, simple but delicious. Mmm. Let's finish it. Real Italian. <laughs> now to the pasta and the sauce, he adds the ricotta cheese, Reggiano Parmesan cheese, melts that, plates it, adds mozzarella on top, puts it in the boiler till it's brown. This dish is beautiful. Buon appetito. Thank you. Grazie. If you want to get a confidence recipe, all you got to do is log on to CBSNewYork.com. I'm Tony Santillo for CBS 2 News, and this is Tony Sable. Now, I get to try this. Oh. Come on. Mm.